everyone welcome back to my channel today I have an exciting video I'm sharing with you guys what I eat at the beach I love going to the beach especially during the summertime because there's not much of it here in Toronto so I definitely enjoyed myself and I brought Matt along with me so let's hop right in so today on our beach adventure we decided to make one of my go-to tuna salads and this has tons of veggies in it so I'm just gonna grab everything out of the fridge bring all my ingredients over to my island here I love prepping on this island it makes it super easy and I'm just gonna start basically prepping my veggies and Matt came in to help so he's gonna help chop up the veggies he he's really good at it actually he's good at chopping and cleaning which is amazing because I don't like doing either one of those so we are just prepping all the ingredients I have some celery here some kale I like to just tear my kale off from the stems um, that way you don't have the woody part of the stems in your salad Matt is lightly slicing lightly he's slicing the celery I took out a bowl here and I'm just gonna put the all the um, tuna in there so we can mix everything up in this bowl before we pack it up I don't really use measurements when I make this salad but I will put together a recipe for you guys and put it down in the info box so be sure to check it out there I'm chopping up some carrots as well and some green onion and then I'm chopping up that kale that I de-stemmed and washed earlier and I just really like to like really finely uh, slice it up so it kind of just mixes in well with the salad and then I'm chopping up a little bit of dill pickle I love dill pickle with tuna it's a really great combination you should try it you can also use capers if you have those as well so we have all of our ingredients chopped I also chopped up some red onion which I didn't show but that's in there as well and then I'm just gonna toss everything together and then while I'm prepping the fruit Matt is actually just seasoning the salad so he's putting some sea salt black pepper smoked paprika which has been my new favorite thing Matt introduced me to it and it's amazing it's like Chipotle 2.0 it's amazing and then I'm adding or he's adding in some veganese I actually like veganese better than mayo half the time and just a few tablespoons of that is just gonna kind of help bind everything together and then he's just adding in a little bit of fresh lemon juice and some grainy Dijon mustard and then mix that up very well and then I'm just taking some of these amazing dark cherries and I'm just gonna rinse them quickly cherries right now are everywhere so I am enjoying them while they are in season and then I'm slicing up these Kara Kara oranges and putting them into a glass container Kara Kara is basically a mix between blood orange and regular like navel oranges they're delicious you should definitely try them out I got mine from Costco and then Matt is just uh, transferring the tuna salad into this glass container popping the lid on and then I'm just transferring the cherries into a uh, Ziploc bag here I try to use reusable stuff when I can but usually I reuse these Ziploc bags and then I'm prepping some organic romaine boats or whatever you call them they're gonna be our boats for our tuna salad because romaine is nice and refreshing especially for the beach I like dipping crackers as well but romaine is just or any lettuce will work for this but it's super refreshing it's gonna keep you hydrated when it's hot out and there's Chloe in the reflection of the faucet hi Chloe and I'm just pat lightly patting them dry and this was Chloe's idea to wrap them up in some paper towel and then place them into a large freezer bag a ziploc bag so it kept them nice and dry and clean and perfect for traveling to the beach and then we're just packing everything up in this um, freezer bag I don't know what these are called cooler bag I got mine from Sobeys it was like $2.99 um, you can use any cooler bag that you have they're really handy to keep everything fresh we didn't even use a freezer pack but you could definitely add that in if you needed to and I'm just having some water these little vacuum seal water jugs are awesome you can put ice in it in the morning bring it to the beach and it's still gonna be cold at like 5 p.m. they're perfect 
So we are heading to Toronto Island and this is the ferry that takes you to the island. If you haven't tried it, it's definitely a must do if you're visiting Toronto. It's a short ferry ride and it's a beautiful view of the city skyline as you can see. And then once we got to the beach, we just set up camp kicked off our sandals, laid out our blankets. Matt's using a travel blanket or towel, which is amazing for the beach because it doesn't, um, the sand just kicks right off of it. And then this is a towel that I stole from my friend Candace from the Edgy Veg. Thanks Candace. We are unpacking everything. I also brought this hummus, this jalapeno hummus. It's so good guys. I've been addicted to it. You have to try it. I also got it from Costco. And we're just setting up camp, unpacking everything. By the time we got to the beach today, we were starving. So we got quickly to it and unpacked everything so we could eat everything up for lunch. So we're just scooping up the tuna salad, putting it into our lettuce boats. And basically rolling it up like a burrito or a taco, whatever you want. It was so good and refreshing. You can also dip some Mary's uh, crackers in here or tortilla chips, which Chloe did. Um, this is just a really refreshing, hearty salad. And people always request it when I go to the beach. Um, they always ask me to bring the salad. So definitely try it out. It's so good. I also brought these pretzel chips. They're delicious, super addicting, so beware, um, but they work really well with the jalapeno hummus. And now we're just being silly, trying to uh, conquer our throwing, catching cherries competition here. I just had a quick dip to cool off before I got back to our campsite and did a bit of reading. Enjoyed some of the Kara Kara oranges. These are so hydrating. I basically tried to incorporate foods that were all hydrating. That way they were perfect beach snacks um, to bring with you. And there's Matt being silly again. <laughs> Never fails. And now we're just chilling, reading. Uh, I definitely like to bring a hat with me when it gets really hot so you don't get like that post beach headache. Um, this is just a book I'm reading, Infinite Possibilities. I actually already read this book. I just brought it because I didn't have too many options with me. Matt was reading some real estate book. Um, but that was basically our day at the beach. We were heading now back on the ferry, back to the mainland of Toronto. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and and just hanging out with us at the beach. It was a lot of fun. It was a gorgeous day. It got me out of the house um, to do some filming outdoors. And we all had a lot of fun just eating some delicious snacks in the sand. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below if you wanna see more videos like this and let me know what you eat at the beach. Oh, and there's Kevin. Say hi, Kevin. Shout out to the minions. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Maybe.